Hi everyone, it's really good to see you again. For this episode, I thought that I would do something just a little bit different. I'm here in this amazing suite at the Balmoral Hotel, and for the first time in a really long time, I'm going out with friends for some drinks and some cocktails and for some fun. So I thought that it would be a really nice idea, something that I've never done before, to invite you to join me for this night out. We're going to get ready together, get dressed, have some cocktails, drinks, and then we're going to go to a gig in a bar in Edinburgh. My friend Lorenzo is a DJ and he's going to be playing a set. So we're going to go and check that out. And I really want you to come and join me for this fun night out. So let's get ready, let's get glam, and let's have some fun. We've got this really amazing suite here at the Balmoral. It's actually huge. We've got this living room here, which is insanely big. Probably too big just for me. And then as we go through here, we've got a little dining area. So it's nice to have this separate space if you want to have friends over and have some room service, some drinks before we go out. This is a great place to do that. Also got some amazing views of Princes Street, which is one of the biggest streets in Edinburgh, famous for shopping. And then through here is the bathroom and the bedroom. Now we've got the bedroom with this huge bed and the canopy over the top, which gives it a bit of grandeur and a bit of uh, fun. Okay, so it's six o'clock, it's time for me to get ready. I haven't decided what I'm gonna wear, but I thought the best thing is just to get ready, to put on a bit of makeup, do my hair, and then when you're looking your best, you look better in your clothes and you can figure out what to wear. So let's get ready. The first thing that I like to do before I go out is just to have a really good cleanse of my skin and make sure that, I don't know, I feel like when I prep my skin, everything turns out better. My hair looks pretty stupid with this thing in, but actually it, it helps to keep the hair from my face. And also it pushes my hair back and then when I take it out, my hair is more full and it kind of styles my hair without having to do anything. So this is my little trick for my hair. A lot of people send me messages about asking how I do my hair. And really the only thing I do is wash it and then when it's wet, put this in and let it dry. It's that simple. So I'm just gonna start by a little bit of water on my skin just to cleanse it off and then I'm going to clean it with this uh, cleansing lotion. Now this is a very simple cleansing lotion from Boots. It costs about two pounds and the reason why I like to use it is because it's fragrance free. Uh, I've been using it for about 10 years. It doesn't irritate my skin. I used other creams before and they were making my eyes itch and I actually had like an inflammation here so I found that it was best just to use a very simple cleanser and this has worked for me. So I'm just having a bit of a cleanse and then what I'm gonna do is apply a little bit of argan oil and then I'm gonna roll my skin with a roller just to get the blood pumping through my face. I think it always helps uh, to set the canvas for your skin. Ever since I started going out when I was 18, getting ready is probably the most fun part of a night out for me especially when I'm with friends and we're all getting ready together with a drink and you have the best chat. I think when you go out, it is fun, but you don't really, because it's quite loud, you don't get to chat as much as you can when you're getting ready. So yeah, getting ready has always been the fun part of a night out for me. And then obviously coming home and having junk food. So, argan oil is another secret weapon of mine that I like to use. Um, I use this every day just before I'm getting before I get ready and what I do is I just put a tiny bit on my skin like this and then rub it through. It feels really greasy at first but then you really massage it into the skin and when you're using your roller on your face or if you just like to massage your skin it provides a nice base for that so that you're not uh, pulling on your skin. So I start by just rubbing this through and then I'm going to use the little rolling tool which I have talked about before. I've been using this for a few years. 
it is a face roller, jade roller. The good thing is about this, you can put it into the fridge and it's best if you leave it there so it's really cold and then if you have any puffiness or inflammation or you're just feeling a bit hot after a shower, this will cool off your skin and just get rid of any puffiness and really prepare the skin. So I really like to use this. I find it relaxing, it feels good and I can definitely notice the difference. I don't really have any specific way that I use this tool, just what I feel like. The last thing I do is take the small end of the tool and then just go under my eyes. I tend to get quite puffy eyes, so this is an important area for me to go along. And you can see already that this oil is getting absorbed into the skin and it's not too greasy. Okay, and I'm just gonna finish by massaging the rest in again. And when I'm massaging, I always go up like this and pull the skin. Just helps to firm everything up. And that's the first step. So I've talked about in quite a few videos that I really love skincare. I've loved it from a young age. I've been taking care of my skin since I was about 15 years old, moisturizing every day, using sunscreen, and just really enjoying different skincare products. So I think doing that has helped me to really take care of my skin and get the best out of my skin. Now, I'm not an expert about any of this stuff. This is not a makeup tutorial. In fact, I've only started recently wearing makeup when I was filming videos. I think when you're filming on camera, you need that extra jump to make you look better. So that is when I wear makeup. But I also sometimes wear it on a night out, so I thought that I would share what I do here. Now, I'm very minimal with makeup. I never want to look like I'm wearing a lot. Um, I don't want it to be noticeable, so the makeup that I wear is very, very minimal and I think natural. Who knows? So the things that I've learned about good makeup is that if you prep your skin, that's the, how you get the best results. So that's why I just use the face roller. The next thing that I will do is use a primer. Now this is one of my favorite primers. It's called uh, Pure Canvas Primer by Laura Mache and this is a hydrating primer. I do have another primer that I use for when I'm filming videos, which is called Blurring, and that one just provides a real smooth finish to your skin, but it's not what, something that I wanna wear every day because it looks too thick. So this one, because it's hydrating, but the look that I wanna go for is like a glowy, very nourished skin look. So this one is perfect for that. It really hydrates the skin. And I think sometimes when you wear makeup, it can be a little bit chalky, sometimes matte. So this just prevents that from happening and makes you look like you've got no makeup on at all. So I just apply this over my skin again and uh, press it in with my fingers just so that it really gets in deep. And then I will leave this for about two minutes before I move on. So now that this has settled into my skin, I'm gonna go on to foundation. Now foundation is not something that I wear every day. I do prefer the more natural look. I think I look better without it. But when you're going out on a night out, you kind of wanna look a bit more glammed up, a bit more special. So I think foundation is a good thing to do there. Now I know that a lot of brands are coming out with uh, makeup for men and I think that's pretty cool but I think it's more of a marketing ploy. I think really makeup, whether it's designed for men or women, is exactly the same. So this one is a Lancome foundation. It has SPF 15 so if you want to wear it in the day it's good for protecting your skin and this is actually a sample. I bought this Lancome uh, blush stick which is for your cheeks here to give you a bit of a glow and when I went there the lady at the counter gave me this sample and I find it really good so I use this. So I literally only use a tiny tiny amount of this foundation. It's literally just like this on my hand and then I'll use all of that to blend over my entire face and no more than that. So this little tester is gonna last me for a long time. The next trick that I learned about makeup to get your makeup really 
applied perfectly is to use good brushes. Now I got these online, they were not expensive, they came in a set. And this one is a foundation brush. I literally just rub it onto here and then it's hardly anything on the brush, you'll notice that. And I just stipple it over my skin. And the good thing is about this, it's very, this foundation is not matte. It's got a bit of a glow, but it's almost like a second skin. You can hardly see that this is going on. But once it is applied, you just get that more uniform skin tone and evened out skin tone. That just gives you a bit of an extra boost. Now, when I'm filming for YouTube, I use a little bit more makeup. I actually use this concealer from NARS, which I've shown you before. And I use this all under my eye area but I'm not going to be using that for a night out because it looks, it actually does look too, you can see that it's on the skin and I don't want people to notice too much that I've got wearing, I'm wearing too much makeup. Again, I just want to go for a more natural look. What I always try to do as well is to get it into the areas around the hairline so that it looks uh, natural top of the ears as well. And I think doing this stippling motion where you dab it into the skin is what gives it a more natural result and really gets it into the pores. The next thing I do is my eyebrows. Now my eyebrows are a bit weird. I've got lots of patches in them. They're very patchy. I've had that my whole life. And I remember one time I was at my mom's house and she had a lady there doing her brows. And she says, can I do yours? Because I think I can make them look a lot better. And I was a bit hesitant about that because I think it can be very strange to have super groomed eyebrows when you're a guy. But she did them and I could see the difference that it made to my brows. So I've been doing that ever since. I use a brow pencil. It's very inexpensive. It's called Brow This Way from Rimmel. And it's quite a thick uh, pencil but it allows me just to do small strokes and really fill in the gaps of my brows, which I think really changes the face. And what I do before I do my eyebrows, after I put foundation on, is just to give them a little bit of a wipe through, because I can't bear it when you have those foundation eyebrows. So I like to get all of that out, and then I dry them off. And the way that I think works best for me is to just stand back a little bit, not too close, because then you're going to get, to, you're going to be try and be too precise. And I just start to make small strokes and fit, and I start by filling in the gaps. So there's a lot of gapping here. So fill in that bit. And then I'm going to take it down here just to give some shape. But again, my aim for this whole look is to be as natural as possible. And I think that is it, actually. Perfect. That's one, and then I'm just going to brush it through. And what I find is that when you use these eyebrow pencils, it can look a bit matte, a bit flat. So I just put a little bit of Vaseline on my finger and then just dab it through just to make them look more alive again. That is the first one. And I'm going to do the same for this one. I always think that there is one eyebrow that is better than the other one, the one that always turns out better and this is the one that always looks the worst. So, yeah. I think yep, yeah, that is it. I think it really just makes a big change to the whole face, frames the face, and makes everything look a lot better. Once I've done my brows, I can then take this out of my hair because all of this area of my face is ready. So I just pull my hair down, and as you can see, you get a little bit of volume here, pushes it back, 
and it just gives you a bit of a, a natural wave. So that is just pretty simple. That's my hair almost done. So now what I like to do, because I think sometimes a foundation can take out some of the natural blush of your skin tone. So I use a blush stick. This is by Lancome and it is very nourishing to the skin I think. It's not matte at all and you only need a little bit to get maximum results. So I'm literally just gonna take this along my cheekbone here up to my ear and this will just bring a glow back to my skin. It kind of makes you look sun-kissed as well. Another trick that I do is just put a tiny bit here on the bridge of my nose and then it looks like the sun's caught you on your nose. So what I do with this is I just literally dab it on my cheek, cheekbone. I'm not rubbing it through, otherwise it wouldn't be too excessive. And on the opposite one too. And then what I tend to do is just work it through and then if I need to add more, or then I can just keep adding it, but it's best to start off with minimal. And then I've got this brow, br brow brush and I I'm just taking it up like this into my hairline and I think it lifts the face too. I think I'm just going to add a little bit more after all we're going out so So I think that this is done. As you can see, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. It's just to enhance what I've already ha already got with my skin. Um, it just helps to give you a bit of a boost, makes you feel better. So that's why I use it. Now, what I do, I get dressed and then I do some last minute touches. Like I put some little bit of wax through my hair and then I put on some perfume. But just to finish off the face, I've got this Aesop uh, mist and it's a hydrating mist. I just like to use this. It's got a rose scent, natural rose scent. I just spray this on and let this just dry off. And it just really gives even more of a glow and hydration to your skin. Now I'm going to get dressed. When I'm going out for a night out, I tend to wear pretty much the same things because I like this idea of being very minimal and chic. So I tend to wear navy blue, dark colors, slimline clothing which are simple i usually wear some pants and a, a nice top and then a jacket and i just like to look very uniform and neat so that is ten, what i tend to wear so because it's the summer i think i'm going to wear i've got a simple zara t-shirt which is ribbed and i like these they they make your physique look actually a lot nicer and then i'm going to wear that with the simple blue pants and i've got this jacket from zara which is a bit cool because it's see-through and it looks nice with all these colors and then I'm just going to wear some of my Dr. Martin's boots which I think are perfect for a night out they give me a little bit a few more inches make me a little bit taller make me feel a little bit more confident a bit more tall so those are the things that I'm going to wear So I'm all ready, I'm ready to go. Now in the Balmoral Hotel here, they have the most amazing cocktail bar. You all know how much I love a good cocktail. So why don't we go downstairs and see if they can whip up something special for us. They serve the most amazing cocktails in this beautiful bar. If you're an Edinburgh local or plan to visit, the Balmoral is hosting some really fun nights of comedy and live music. I'll provide more info in the description box below. Davy's making me a Cosmo with a twist. 
This one has Rose Liqueur and is now my new favourite. Wow, what a fun night that was. It was so great to be out with friends after so long of being in lockdown and I really had the best time. So whenever I have a night where I've drank a little bit of alcohol, the next morning I like to kind of overindulge in a very good breakfast. Now I'm not really too hungover, I drank water as I was between each drink so I'm actually okay, but it's also a nice idea just to restore everything in your body, bring back some balance with a good breakfast. So I'm going to share with you my favourite hangover cure breakfast. I'm making shakshuka, a classic Middle Eastern dish made with tomatoes and eggs. It is supremely tasty, perfect for brunch. To begin, I'm adding a little olive oil to the pan and then I will add the red onion and fry until soft. Now I'm adding some garlic and then I will pour in all of the tomatoes and season with salt and paprika. Next, I will add the tomato paste and some whole grain mustard, which just gives a nice zing to this dish. I'm adding a little water and then I will let all of this simmer down until we have a thick sauce. Once it is ready, we make a little hole with the back of a wooden spoon and into it we will crack an egg. Add as many as you like. Pop on the lid and let the eggs cook. I leave them for about five minutes so they are still runny. At the end, just sprinkle on some coriander to really finish off this delicious breakfast. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. I will see you again next week for the next episode. Until then, have a really great weekend and a wonderful week ahead. Bye-bye.